Hey, hey, and welcome to the new video. Today we are going to talk about the yoga asanas for boosting fertilities. So I had chosen six asanas for you and let me tell you why those and not the other ones. And uh, let me tell you more about uh, fertility yoga. So the yoga has been practiced for centuries as a way to improve physical, mental and emotional health for women with endo who are trying to uh, conceive practice yoga can be a great way to boost fertility naturally and in um, this video I'm gonna uh, talk to you about the six yoga asanas that can be particularly helpful for women with endometriosis who are trying to get pregnant. So what are the benefits of the yoga for fertility? Uh, before we dive in into specific asanas let's first take a look at how yoga can be helpful for boosting fertility. So yoga can help uh, reduce stress and anxiety, which can in turn to improve uh, hormonal balance and increase the likelihood of conception. Additionally, yoga can improve the blood flow to the reproductive organs, which is so important, helping to nourish the eggs and improve the uterine uh, uterine lining. This is so, so, so important. So what is the first asana and you have to forgive me if i don't pronounce it right but i will do my best bata konasana butterfly pose very well known it stimulates the ovaries and the kidneys help release the stress and tension in the hips improves flexibility in the groin and hip region and it's very very easy to make uh, the another one which is legs up the wall pose and I will try my best to pronounce it. Viparita Karani. Please correct me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Correct me in the comment section. So basically, um, you are sitting with your right side against the wall and lie on the back. Extend your legs up against the wall and inhale and exhale deeply for five and ten minutes. Basically, uh, most of the asanas are uh, based and focus on the blood flow. So the blood flow is circulating better and it's uh, improving your uterine lining. Asana number three is the bridge pose and can help uh, you to open the chest and improve the blood flow to the pelvic area. So how do you do it? You lie down on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor and then you are lifting your hips towards the ceiling uh, and pressing your feet and shoulders to the floor. Very easy to make as well. And then we've got asana number four, just a second, there we go, which is head to knee forward bend. This, this one is a little bit more difficult. In this pose, it helps you to stretch the hips, hamstring and lower back, uh, lower back, increasing blood flow to the pelvic area. And you're sitting on the floor with one leg extended out in the front and you and other, uh, and on front of you and the under leg bent with the sole of your feet against your innate tight and you fall fall folding <laughs> forwards over your extended leg and this is basically how you do it let's jump to uh, asana number five uh, which is reclining bound angle pose it helps you to stretch the groin and hips increasing blood flow to the pelvic area you're basically lying down with your uh, feet together and knees out of the sides and hold the pose for a few breaths before releasing. This one is very good hip opener when you've got the tension. And the last one is the child pose, my favorite one, which I'm uh, finishing uh, almost all uh, my asanas. So uh, kneel on the floor and sit back on your heels fold forward extending your arms in front of you and rest your forehead on the floor and breathe deeply and i have to say please remember that yoga is not the magic bullet for fertility however however practicing these asanas regularly can be a great way to support your fertility journey and improve your all overall health so please uh, make a habit to uh, incorporate these poses especially that are focused on of increasing the blood flow to your 
pelvic and hip openers. They are very, very good one if you are trying to get pregnant. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. As always, don't, rem don't forget, don't remember, don't forget to like and share with others so we can all come together and heal together. As always, love you so much and see you in the next one.